yourself knowing that you did not protect your child. Heartbreaking for parents to learn that their child is being bullied at school. But for one family in Ohio, the taunting turned tragic when their son committed suicide. Nine teenagers in Massachusetts face charges of bullying a 15-year-old girl until she finally killed herself. Authorities and parents are asking why no one stepped in to help her. Bullied and harassed until she had had enough. 15-year-old Phoebe Prince hanged herself in her family's home in January. A little boy named Asher Brown. He lived in Texas. He was 13 years old. I say lies in the past because he shot himself in the head last Thursday. This needs to be a wake-up call to everyone that teenage bullying and teasing is an epidemic in this country and the death rate is climbing. I would say bullying is when one person intimidates another person, um, puts another person down, makes another person feel poorly about themselves in any way. Cyberbullying is particularly dangerous because anyone who's a victim of cyberbullying cannot escape that. You know, when bullying happens in a school, um, you can leave the building and, and be safe from that bully and be protected in your home. But cyberbullying reaches through the internet and gets you where you live. You know, on your Facebook page or your email or, or texting and, and that I think is, not that it's, it's any worse, but I think that's particularly scary. Could be anything from a lower self-esteem to, you know, more isolation to loneliness to um, anything as severe as, you know, suicide and self-harm. You know, there's lots of reports about that kind of stuff now and people get bullied incessantly for so long that they feel like it's just never going to stop and you get that hopelessness and that kind of thing is hard to kick once, you, once it gets in your head. I don't know that you can necessarily avoid it. Uh, I think it's more about coping with it and learning how to not um, allow that to affect you, as difficult as that may sound. Um, I don't think that you should have to avoid it because that would mean you'd have to change something about yourself or where you walk or where you, what you say. I don't think people should have to avoid being bullied. I think that it should, it should happen.